I've used this uh, for shallow things, but not so much for groundwater studies. And uh, that is another thing that I we're, we were hoping that we would like to, at some point to combine them. Uh, for shallow studies, a lot of times people have them on a raft like this. So there's like two or three electrodes, or, three, or two or four. You, you always have a transmitter to receive. And then you just like run the raft along. And that's used for finding uh, for finding graves or things like that, or finding walls on uh, archaeological sites. Another way to use electrical um, uh, properties is basically the, the reverse of the resistivity. You're measuring uh, whether um, things are, um, are conducting electricity by a uh, coil that's um, sending the electricity out. You know, you're not in direct contact with the ground. It's just sort of and it's kind of mysterious in some ways how this instrument works. We have uh, an instrument like this uh, called an EM38 that uh, I've used. Pretty easy to operate, but um, I did find one study where somebody mapped a sinkhole with it. So uh, there are studies. Um, it's, it's tedious to uh, operate it uh, because it doesn't connect with a regular uh, computer. It has its own data collector and things like that. But we have this M38. Okay, 